Our ancestors fled a dying Earth, hopeful that they would find a better life on a habitable exoplanet 14 light years away. But the Arvad was the unluckiest of the great generational ships. As she flew past a previously unknown Oort cloud object, she was knocked onto a new, unplanned trajectory. Unable to reach the original destination, the passenger's best chance of survival now lay in an unexplored star system, Adalia. Generations lived and died on the Arvad during the 150-year journey to the Adalia system. But at last, we had a chance of finding a new home outside of her hull. On approach, we eagerly studied our potential new homes to see which of the five planets would be best suited for habitation. But our bright dreams for our future darkened as one by one, each planet was shown to be even more uninhabitable than the last. Ion, tiny, hot, rocky, and completely airless. Bayer, choked with a thick, heavy blanket of burning poison. Kronos, a gas giant with crushing gravity. Dysis and Eos, two distant ice giants far from the warmth of Adalia. We were unprepared for the Herculean task of terraforming hostile worlds. The High Commander of the Arvad declared a state of emergency and proposed a new solution. Settle the asteroid belt. While many agreed with the High Commander that the asteroid belt was the best option available, opposition to the Prime Council, the High Commander, and her plan for our future grew. Discord ran rampant through the halls of the ship as numerous factions rose and fell. The people of the Arvad found themselves contemplating whether the Prime Council was still deserving of their loyalty. But a body in motion stays in motion, and the same can be said of powerful ideas. Despite the opposition, the High Commander's plan had enough momentum that everyone was working toward it. With our first landfall onto the largest asteroid, Adalia Prime, many were once again optimistic about our chances for survival. Work on our first colony began, and it grew from the dismantled remains of our ship. We learned new skills, following in the footsteps of our ancestors, adapting to our harsh new environment. We became miners, engineers, pilots, merchants, scientists. Now, new Adalians are coming of age, a generation not fated to live their lives journeying through space, but born to a life in the asteroid belt. You are one of those children, an Adalian. As you enter adulthood and seek to find your place in the belt, only one question remains. How will you expand your influence?